Hello everyone. In this video, we are just going to learn how to create our first ever project in Espressif IDE using ESP IDEA for ESP32 SOCs. So to start off with, we are just going to learn how to create a basic project in Espressif IDE using ESP IDEA for ESP32. And in the next upcoming video, we will be discussing in detail about the build configuration tools and various other configuration files like kconfig, stkconfig that is generated in uh, Espressif IDE. So in the next video, we will talk about those things in detail like cmake files, kconfig, stkconfig file, etc. And to get an overview idea how to create a project for ESP32 in Espressif IDE, we are just going to uh, create the basic project using ESP IDF in this particular video. So for that in the C drive, I have created a folder called SM Academy and inside the SM Academy, I'm just going to create a folder called workspace and inside this workspace only, I'm just going to store my project files. So after creating a folder like this, just uh, Search in Espressif IDE in your PC and open this. And if you are not getting this particular thing, just go inside the Espressif folder in the C drive. Or is it? Here it is. And inside the tools folder, inside the Espressif IDE 3.1.0, you will get this icon. Just double click on this for opening the Espressif IDE and click on browse inside the SM Academy folders double click on this workspace and click on select folder now click on launch now the blank project will be created inside that particular workspace folder inside the SM Academy you can create your own folder uh, before starting your project in Espressif IDE. Now click on this ESP IDF manager and close this icon. Now click on this file, new and click on Espressif IDF project. Since we are going to create the project based on ESP IDF, just click on Espressif IDF project. And in the first tab that is popping out, just give a name for your project. I am just going to give project 1. And I don't want to fetch any of the examples that is available right over here. So I am leaving this checkbox unchecked. And in the device target, select the ESP32. I am using Room32 ESP32 development board. So I am selecting this ESP32. If you are using any other development board, just select the relevant development board as your target right over here and then click on finish. That's it. Now close this readme. This is the project created with the name project one. And this is the CMake file outside the project located outside the project and this is the cmake file inside the project and in this cmake file i am just going to keep only two things one is this source main.c another one is include underscore dirs so i am just deleting all these things and here i am going to write double quotes dot double quotes we will talk about the cmake file kconfig and stk config file in detail in the next upcoming video in this video we are just concentrating only on the simple basic project creation in espressif ide now i am saving this control s and i am closing this cmake file now open the main file main.c here the program is like inside the infinite loop this is the main function we have an infinite loop while of true and inside the while of true we have hello from app main so here i am naming it as sm 
academy allow from sm academy will be printed at an interval of one second since one second delay is provided right over here i'm just saving this now i'm just going to build this project click on this and click on the tab project right over here and click on build all or you can click Ctrl plus B in your keyboard for building everything in the project. So usually this build takes a while. So after the build is complete, we will get an SDK config file generated. In that SDK config file generator, there are few things that needs to be done. So those are basic things I will show you. Then only the build will be successful and then only you will be able to load the flash onto our ESP32 development board. So in the meanwhile, I'm just going to connect my ESP32 to my PC through micro USB cable. and uh, here in this drop down select esp32 and uh, click on the settings button to edit the device that you want to work on so you can give whatever name you want right over here for your device and in the drop down here idf target select esp32 if you are having esp32 or room 32 development board and uh, here you can leave it as default and in this place also it is fine now we just want to select the com number so when i click on this you can see there is an silicon labs usb to uart bridge connected to com 14 that is my esp32 i have not connected anything to my pc so i am just selecting this and click on finish that's it so our esp32 is ready for uh, flashing and now let's wait for this build to complete it takes a while so i'm forwarding this video so the build is successful with zero errors and zero warnings you can see here it is almost done with zero less and zero warnings now you can see in the project explorer tab we have a stk config file generated just open this stk config file by double clicking on this And in this uh, SDK config file, the first and foremost thing that you want to do is we just want to change the flash memory size. Double click on the serial flasher config uh, tab and click on the flash size tab drop down right over here and change this to 4 MB and give control S for saving the settings and come to the partition table right over here and click on factory app to ota definitions in this drop down of uh, partition table for making the project support the ota and give control s for saving the settings and further just uh, double click on the http server and give the buffer value right over here to be 1024 and the next uh, buffer also give it to be 1024 in place of 512 and save this And in some cases, this expressive IDE will generate a certificate error. To avoid that, we can just change a settings in embed TLS tab right over here. Default certificate bundle options change this to be use only the most common certificates from the default bundles and give control S. Now we can close this uh, SDK config. Now again click on project and build all 
once it is built you can just uh, upload the program to our uh, esp32 and we can visualize the output that is the printing of hello from sm academy uh, printed in our uh, console right over here in expressive ide and you can build the project and you can load that and also you can click on this particular icon right over here that is run icon for compiling and loading the program or flash to our esp32 i have already connected the esp32 development board to my pc through micro usb cable so i am just clicking on this particular icon directly for compiling and loading if it is not compiled it will just uh, compile and uh, download the flash to the esp32 flash memory so i'm just clicking on this particular icon let's wait for a while the compilation is successful and now the expressive ide is trying to load the flash program to my flash available in esp32 development board you can see the programming is being done and the output is here finally the output is here for every one second i am getting hello from sm academy exclamation print so the terminal window available in my expressive ide is displaying the output from my esp32 or room 32 development port so this is the program we have just printed hello from sm academy exclamation for every one second so this is the test program that we have written and we successfully got the output so i hope you learned how to create the first ever project in expressive ide using esp idf in this particular video see you in the next video thanks for watching